<coughs> so hello folks today it is uh, 2019 october november paper 2 3 and the question number is 6 the question is concerned with the chapter kernel electricity as you can see from the circuit diagram here it says that a battery of electromotive force 12 volt so battery of uh, 12 volt and a negligible inner resistance no inner resistance here so that's why things become a bit more easier is connected to a network of two lamps and two resistors so two lamps and two resistors as shown in figure 6.1 the two lamps in the circuit have equal resistances so I can write it as uh, simply uh, so simply let us say RL and RL both are equal the two resistors have resistances R and 28 ohm the lamps are connected at junction X lamps connected at junction X and the resistors are connected at junction Y resistors at junction Y the current in the battery is 0 0.50 ampere so if it is 0 0.50 ampere this returning current also should be equal to 0 0.50 amperes calculate uh, the resistances of each lamp so we have to calculate the resistance of each of these things so before that let us uh, um, let us uh, take here that notice that the current through this branch is 0 0.20 ampere so the current coming from coming uh, in uh, from this main thing is uh, 0.50 this is 0 0.20 so the current going through this branch should be equal to 0 0.30 it means 0 0.50 minus 0 0.20 0 0.30 so this also will be 0 0.30 amperes and amperes now we need to find the resistance of each of these things so if i consider if i consider just this thing let us uh, let us remove this let us consider just this thing. it will appear as a voltage divider in the sense that it will be like this so this is 12 volt 12 volt so this is the lamp and this is the lamp like this so the whole pd is equal to uh, 12 volt 12 volt as shown by this thing and uh, we have got equal resistance here rl and rl so even to the voltage divider formula voltage divider formula what we have is uh, since the resistances of the lamps are equal the pd here across pd here and here here and here they be, should be exactly half if the resistances are equal the PD will be divided equally so half half so that means it is so from here to here it is a 6 volt 6 volt half of 12 and from here to here it is again 6 volt so PD across this thing is 6 across this thing is 6 so now the resistance here will be equal to RL will be equal to 6 divided by uh, this current 0 0.20 which will be equal to 6 by 0.2 is 6 divided 0.2 equal to 30 ohm so it is 30 ohm 30 ohm now we have to find the resistance here r so in this uh, branch also we can consider the same thing here so what happens is uh, if i remove this i'll just have this and this so it will be 12 volt here 12 volt then we have got this uh, r and we have got this uh, this 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 uh, 28 ohm 28 ohm this is 12 and here uh, the current is uh, 0 0.30 ampere 30 ampere so resistance 28 ohm and current is 0 0.30 ampere so it means that the pd across this thing is pd across v across this 28 ohm resistor is equal to is equal to 0 0.30 into 28 that's equal to <coughs> that's equal to so 0 0.3 into 28 is equal to 8.4 volt 8.4 volt so the pd across this region is equal to 8.4 volt so now this is 12 volt this is 12 volt this is 8.4 volt so the pd here will be equal to the pd uh, there will be equal to so v across r should be equal to equal to uh, across r should be equal to this 12 minus 8.24 which will be equal to so minus 12 it is do so it's negative sign it is 3.6 volt 3.6 volt so the pd across this thing is equal to 3.6 volt now this gives the resistance is equal to ohm's law gives the pd divided by the current so it is uh, 3.6 divided 0 0.30 30 divided 0.3 it is 12 ohms so it is 12 ohms now determine the 
PD across uh, VXY between points X and Y. So we have done most of the work here. So what happens here is uh, here, this is at the same potential from here to here 6 volt. So we have a VL is equal to 6 volt, 6 volt. Uh, then uh, we have got uh, this PD is equal to uh, PD is equal to 3.6 volt. So V arch is equal to 3.6 volt. So if so, if so, this is the same potential from here to here 6 volt, from here to here 6 volt. So from here to here it should be equal to V X Y should be equal to V L minus V R. That's equal to 6 volt minus 3.6 volt, and that's equal to uh, 2.4 volts. 2.4 volts. So it is 2.4 volts. Now, now, let's turn the uh, page. Okay. Number C. In number C, it says that calculate the ratio total power dissipated by the lamps by the lamps divided total power dis uh, produced by the battery. So power produced by. <coughs> let's first uh, think of the power produced by the lamps. So the power produced by uh, this lamp should be equal to should be equal to uh, V into I of course V into I. So V into I and V into the same current 0 0.20 ampere 0 0.20 ampere. So power produced by the lamps lamps is should be equal to is equal to uh, 6 volt into 0 0.20 6 into 0 0.20 plus again here also it is 6 into 0 0.20 so that will be equal to 6 into 0 0.2 equal to this much into 2 equal to this much so it is uh, 2.5 2.2.4 2 sorry 2.4 watts now power produced by the battery battery is equal to simply it's equal to its emf into the current that it delivers or i can say i into e or e into i so that will be equal to E is equal to 12 into I is equal to the current given by it is 0 0.50. So 0 0.50 that's equal to equal to 12 into 0.5 equal to. So it is 6. 6 watt. So, <coughs> so now the ratio is equal to ratio is equal to. So it is a power produced by the lamps. Lamps divided power produced by the battery battery and that will be equal to 2.4 divided 6 and that is equal to uh, 6 for 24 so it is 0 0.40 so ratio equal to 0 0.40 now the last and the most uh, uh, logical thinking type of question it says that the resistor r is now replaced by another resistor of low resistance low resistance so so let's explain the effect if any of this change on the ratio in this. So we have to go for this ratio, whether this ratio changes or not. We have to uh, replace this R by lower resistance. So if so, let's go for the first one. First one. In the first case, what uh, we have is, uh, what we have is, um, yeah, lamps. In case of lamps, uh, the PD across the lamps is 12 volt. So this series arrangement here. Uh, the PD across the lamp is 12 volts and their resist their resistance does not change does not change when we we change this so in case of lamps in case of lamps lamps PD uh, PD and uh, uh, RL do not change do not change so so it means that so therefore power equal to V squared by R uh, means that means that 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 that, that their power their power power does not change does not or do not change so their power do not change but in case of the cell the source what happens is if you replace it by lower resistance low resistance uh, this resistance will decrease this resistance will decrease which means the overall r will decrease so if if r becomes lower if r becomes lower lower the whole resistance whole resistance of circuit resistance of circuit circuit decreases of circuit decreases which means which means 
which means current current through current through cell cell uh, current through cell increases increases ie power through battery battery equal to ei increases increases so that means the numerator becomes constant the denominator increases so therefore the ratio the ratio 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 decreases so this decreases the this particular ratio so that gives the complete answer to this question